Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to do a little quick overview of my Hyperion charger that I use to charge my lipos for my um, quadcopter. Uh, so basically, to give this power, I stripped out an old computer power supply. Um, I'm only charging 3S lipos, so uh, I'm only going to need a maximum wattage of about 63 watts. Now, this charger actually can output up to 550 watts, but I'm definitely not going to be using that much. So I can get away with this old 300 watt power supply taken from an old computer. Um, so what I figured out was at 300 watts max, I get 12 volts at 19 amps, which is perfect because if you look at my battery here we have a 5000 milliamp 35c 12 volt 3 a 3 cell battery what I did was basically calculate the watts watts is basically the volts times the amps so you have the 12 volt times 5 amps which is the charge rate gives you 63 watts so 63 watts it takes to charge this correct me if I'm wrong um, basically what I needed to do was just short out two wires that the motherboard actually does automatically um, to power this up uh, when you plug this in normally there's no switch in the back it's an older unit so um, for an example, I have an older power supply here. This green and black wire is shorted out on the motherboard, which I've basically tied together and used a little bit of liquid electrical tape and kind of cleaned up the old power supply ends that I'm not using. And um, basically all I needed was a paralleled 12 volt with a ground using a little connector here and I ran that into the DC input now the DC input on this Hyperion can take up to 10.5 volts all the way up to 29 volts depending on how, you know basically what your power supply is but again we're only charging 3s lipos I really didn't need that much power so <clears throat> when I plug this in it fires up the charger in my menu I have plenty of options um, I'm gonna go through a little quick overview um, memory 2 so this is my second battery which is the Venom if I want can just plug this in plug it in real quick okay so I have the battery plugged in um, this right here for anyone who's getting into the hobby um, just like I did I had to figure this all out um, is a balancing board um, this communicates with the cells within the battery itself um, you want to balance these and that's what this charger does it will balance this battery out so that it's charged evenly without any issue um, again I made these little connectors goes right into this charger so now let's just walk through the steps like if I wanted to charge this so let's say we want to set this up we're gonna go and pretend that this is a new battery so our battery type is a lipo now we have a 3s 11.1 and if you don't if you're not sure take a look at your battery 11.1 3 cell alright so that's what we need uh, let's see capacity 5000 milliamps 5000 so now if you don't have that number just go up or down and increase the values charge current take a look at your battery charge current is 5 amps so we'll just go down again 
temperature cutoff. Now this unit has a temperature sensor. Um, I don't have that. It's an addition that it will monitor the, t the battery temperature on the battery um, just for safe charging which is a nice little feature. But we're just going to skip over that. Safety timer. It's just the time that it will charge the battery. TCS. Basically what TCS stands for, it's the terminal capacity that the battery is going to charge up till. At this point, I've noticed, basically, it just beeps saying that it's at 90% and it will continue charging. Now, you can say to stop charging or continue charging. If you want, you can change it to stop. So at 90% that this battery it will be charged at, it'll stop charging. So I just have it on continue since I'm usually by the charger as is charging. This I usually don't touch. It's an advanced feature. It's called terminal voltage control. Um, I kind of just leave that as default without. It doesn't really change much. Discharge amps. Again, you can refer to the battery for your discharge amps that it can take. That's usually if you're storing it, um, but we're charging it now. Um, discharge faults, again, it's if you're storing mode, but we're charging. Set storage, TCS. That's basically when you're into storage mode, it'll tell you that it'll decharge the battery at 60% so that you can definitely store it at a safe um, load. You don't want to have a battery at 100%. Um, it, it won't have as much lifespan if it's charged at 100% and left in storage. So let's keep going. So there you go. We set up this configuration for this battery. Now if you want, you can actually go and go to a previous battery. Let's say if you, um, how do we go to it? So you go to battery number one and let's say we had a different battery, I can swap this out and I have preset configurations for battery number one. But in my settings, this is battery number two. So we're gonna switch back to that. Now, if you want to start the charge, you hold this down, charge. So solo mode, we want to, store mode is basically this, but we wanna start the charge. So now it's going to check our configurations and settings. It's going to ask connected cells. It's three cell. It's asking me it's right. If you leave it and not touch this, it'll actually go into a charging. And there you go. So now it will charge and it'll charge up to the selected rate that you have it charged at. Um, and at 90% that we sent, set it at, it'll actually beep, like I said, and um, you'll, you'll be good to go. Um, you can actually look at the status of the battery. It's at 64% charge right now. And um, you can cycle through different modes to see the status of the battery. I mean, overall, this is a pretty good charger. Um, it definitely fits my needs and um, it definitely has a lot of room to grow, uh, especially with the larger capacity batteries. Highly recommend it. Um, if uh, anyone's interested, leave a message and maybe I'll get into a lot of the advanced features because uh, we can sit here all day with all the features that this thing has. Uh, thanks for watching.